I first met my husband, Glenn, because I was friends with his first wife who passed away. After the memorial service, Glenn tried to kiss me and told me he had feelings for me. Penny and I found a letter from my first wife. The letter said, Penny, if you're reading this, I know that this is what Glenn wanted and you're now with each other. We got married three months later. I was ecstatic. I didn't think it was too fast because I love Penny, always have and always will. I should have noticed the red flag with him being so clingy and trying to win me over. Now I think that Glenn is controlling. He's verbally abusive. Hey, because because I, know I don't what you know what I said. You're a idiot. He's angry. He's a liar. He's a narcissistic sociopath. Penny is downright cold-hearted and hateful. Her attitude towards me is horrible. Well, a few months ago, my best friend Paula revealed a shocking secret to me. Glenn called her and told her that I was dying and said, once I die, will she marry him? Glenn was lining up a new wife in case Penny died, and um, that wife was me. What kind of husband would do that to his wife? Paula is a liar. She's full of crap. The only thing I asked Paula is if something happened to Penny, if she would help take care of our daughter. Glenn plays the victim and always makes excuses. I was secretly packing boxes to leave Glenn until he found out. Get up, moving you out. You did not know yet. No, Glenn, I did not. Did that's what I told you a month ago. No, that's what you told me a couple weeks ago. My trust is completely gone with Glenn. Now, your position is that you think he's done something that crossed the line in a big way. Yes, totally. Right? Yeah. But you say he made a move on you at his wife's memorial service. Yes, sir, he did. He leaned over and tried to kiss me, and I, I you know, no, it's, it's enough's enough. That crossed the line with you. Yes. Right? Yes, it, it totally crossed the line. That's, that's a red flag, right? That tells you there's some flaw in this man's character that had to send up a red flag, right? It did. But it's, you married him three months later. I know I did. I know. And that, because he, he, he wooed me so bad. He went out and he put billboards on his car. He, we went to, he, I kept telling him, just stay friends, stay, you know, we can build from there. Because I've known him for years. Right. We were friends. Right. You know, but his first wife and I were friends also. And I felt like I was disrespecting her. Okay? But you married him. He came up with a letter that supposedly Glenna wrote and said that she knew how Glenn, her and Glenn spoke prior to her passing because she had cancer. She knew she was dying. And, uh, well, he brought me up this letter that she supposedly wrote. And it said that she knew Glenn was going to pursue me and for, that I had her permission did it look like her handwriting? I really didn't know Glenna's handwriting. Uh-huh. You didn't know it was there until you found it? No, sir, I didn't. 